YouTube channel. My name is Jennifer. My friends call me Miss DeWalt, and this is the first video I'm going to do that's purely experimental. I am attempting to make one of those black pipe shelves. This is um, the basement steps I'm underneath, and I didn't want to spend a lot of money. To do the shelf that I have in my head would probably be at least conservatively $400. I think I have about $150 in supplies. Um, so I'm going to attempt to make it out of almost all PVC pipe. The only thing that actually is that black pipe are these flanges. Um, but I bought 10 of them and I know the manager at my Carter Lumber and he reduced them a little bit so I could buy 10. Um, but anyway, wish me luck. I'm going to try to walk you through the steps to building it. Um, but like I said, totally experimental. This might be um, a crash and burn project. I have no idea. But if not, I'm not 150 bucks. If it's great, it's gonna blow up YouTube. So first thing I did was, I'm horrible at drawing, although I'm creative. Um, I kind of sketched out and got, um, oh hi Kiki. It's my cat, Kiki. She is a, she was a, a rescue. Um, anyway, so I kind of sketched out what I thought it was I wanted in the, in the layout. And I went on Pinterest and looked at other PVC shelves. Um, but probably most of the things uh, that you're gonna need are what I got. Now, as far as amounts, it's gonna be different per project. Um, but what I did was bought nine 10 foot sections of PVC and I cut them to uh, 41 and a half was one length. Um, a bunch of 24s, I'm not sure how many of these I'm gonna need, I'll tell you at the end. Um, I cut some to four foot, or four foot, four inch pieces. And you might need one of these male, female connectors, um, flanges. I bought uh, pipe straps, like two packages of these. Um, I intend to make them look like the black pipes. So first I'm gonna spray paint them in this cheaper, just regular Rust-Oleum and then give them a final coat. Uh, I'm gonna get hammered today. Um, well, maybe on the fumes, but um, this is hammered Rust-Oleum. If you've never used this, this stuff is awesome. You can spray paint plastic junk and it looks like something spectacular. So I bought the, um, what is this color? Just black, hammered. But when you're done, it has a finish that is very similar to the black pipe on this flange. Um, some other things, and don't bother looking for these in the store because at Lowe's and Home Depot, they were not on the shelves. You have to special order them. Um, I'm going to need these. Um, they have, well, actually I bought, okay, backtrack. Um, you're gonna need some teas. You're gonna need these. They actually have one, two, three. They have like a four-way connector. And then I bought these that have like five ways, um, but they look like that. So they're special order. I got, I don't even remember how many I bought. Um, I think I just kind of guesstimated. Maybe I got a dozen and 24. Um, but, and then as far as, um, what else? You're probably gonna need uh, some type of PVC cement. What I'm gonna do first is dry fit it, and then I'll go back, probably spray paint everything, and then glue it together. As far as tools, you're gonna need like the usual, uh, probably um, a drill, impact driver, tape measure. I cut this PVC with my miter saw very carefully, um, so you're gonna need something to cut this as well. But I'm going to kind of walk you through if I forgot anything. I will have to explain that as I go along. So um, anyway, first step is doing a dry fit, getting all my pieces, and that's gonna be time lapse. And I will butt in when I think you need direction. So fingers, or wait, one, is two bad luck? I don't know. Cross your fingers.
everything in. It still isn't glued together, but I went ahead and gave it its first coat of just regular black spray paint. And then the areas that are gonna show the most, I made sure I hit them with that uh, Rust-Oleum hammered paint. Um, and what I, I'm trying to work through the best way to put this together. So yeah, how do you like my hands? Um, so that I'm able to access everything. I think what I'm gonna do is start hooking up this bottom row first because um, what I intend on doing is taking planks from pallets and attaching them as shelves. And what I want to do, um, like if I hook this and glue this all together and start anchoring things like up there, I won't be able to really access um, underneath here. So I think what I'm going to do is just start on this bottom row with um, anchoring and gluing it and then putting these on and then I'll build off of it because like when I get to here I'll be able to access from underneath but that bottom row has got me thinking like the best way to do this so I'm just gonna wing it kind of like I've done the rest of this project um, but I've got like little pieces parts hanging around and um, they actually look pretty good they when they're painted up and I painted the real flanges um, a little bit too so that it wasn't such a stark difference um, so it actually looks like pipe I think most people that would walk in here just just looking at this would be fooled and that was my intention so I'm gonna keep going I really can't even, can't even open this well I don't know if you have to turn into the Hulk to open this or what I can't flip and open this. That's gonna hurt my hand. All right, I can't open that. I don't know what weight lifter you gotta be. So I have um, rubber cement. I have no choice but to use that because I'm gonna rub all the skin off my hand trying to open that. Okay, this is how these pieces go. And it's pretty self-explanatory. And there is this male, female piece. Um, I'm not even gonna bother to glue that because it really tightens down and it's honestly hard to get off. Okay, so you screw that in there until it's very snug. Okay, and now because I painted these, I'm gonna put the um, nicest looking part forward. And all you do is just kind of squish that in there. And then next is this piece and they just seat on there. I really don't even think you have to use a lot of glue. Just a little bit on the inside and push it firmly together, okay? Now, as you can see, I um, kind of missed hitting that, and I'm just gonna put that where nobody's gonna see it at the bottom. Okay, so also you can see on this part that didn't exactly um, get paint that I marked 24 inches, and I did that because when you're working with all of these pieces, I know I was gonna spray paint black over it anyway, but, um, that way you don't pick up a piece that you think is a spare and chop it up. So to keep myself straight, I marked my measurements on there. And I really don't want to get too much rubber cement because it'll squish out the side and look messy. I just want to firmly press that in place. Just a little bit. Here's another one of those instances where I didn't get it sprayed completely. So I'm gonna put the nicest side forward. And once that wood shelf is on, you won't even be able to tell. And plus I can, I can touch it up. Okay, not hard. 
just takes a little bit of time. Okay, everything looks nice and tight and level. And I'm just gonna move this back here so it can dry. smart to um, do this first part before I do instructions because I really didn't know what I was doing um, but it it's pretty solid I put it together I went ahead and put the first row of planks on um, obviously I'm not gonna be like parking cars or storing elephants on these I think I mean even though they're PVC I think they're gonna be sturdy enough for what I need for them um, I wouldn't maybe do this with such a large span if I was gonna do like a bookshelf um, but you could always find some way to reinforce it actually inside. You could take something cheap, some kind of cheap pipe, and actually reinforce. So, so far so good. I'm going to anchor it and attach it where I can. Um, there's a small section down there. I anchored that. I'm going to anchor these. Um, the next part of this is just going to be like a time-lapse video. Some hel helpful hints. Um, I use these brackets. Where'd they go? these like conduit or pipe brackets um, underneath you can do that it as I kind of realized it is not absolutely necessary if you just want to drill a pilot hole and take a screw straight through the wood down into the PVC that seems to be holding just as well um, also a couple hints um, the the first row and the last row because uh, these connectors are a little bit higher. What I did for these pieces was chose um, these, they have kind of like a beveled, like a live edge. Um, but I went ahead and picked pieces like that so that they weren't hitting on the connector and uh, raising up. You can do it however you want. It's not a huge deal, but I thought that was an easy way to avoid having it kind of hump up on both of those sides where they lay on top of the connector. So the next part of this is going to just be um, time-lapse. So uh, I'm gonna keep rolling with it. Um, but what I'm going to do is touch up, I just have like black craft paint 
but nothing will scream fake louder than any little white spots that are showing. And what I'm doing is blotting this paint on because I want it to have a little bit of textured look. Um, but there's like a little bit of white where I scratched it or like where some of the fittings maybe didn't get spray painted all the way. Um, so that's what I would recommend doing is, is going back over and touching that up. pleasantly surprised it turned out as well as it did. I think most people coming in here would be very shocked to find out this isn't the real McCoy. So to recap for the products that I used, just regular three quarter inch PVC pipe. I used Rust-Oleum's hammered line of paint. This will take just regular plastic and turn it into something spectacular, I promise you. In the beginning of the video, I talked about using these T connectors. I actually bought them and didn't use one of them on this but whatever design you choose, you might need something like that. These are readily available in any hardware store. You can find these off the shelf. Now these boogers though, you have to special order. This one is the five way connect. I had got it at Home Depot online and I used six of these and this was used in like this section. I used six. Um, and then also this four way, again, you cannot find these in stores. I used 10 of these and they're what you see over like in this section here in the corner it goes like that um, then I used 16 of these male female connectors and then 16 of the real black um, what is that galvanized steel uh, flanges so you're gonna need that and you're gonna need real flanges and then here's now looking back at this project I wasted so much time I bought these pipe fasteners and I used them on the bottom rack and I wasted time. I wish if I was going to do it over again, I wouldn't even bother trying to connect anything from the bottom. What I would suggest is using a drill with a very small drill bit and just going straight from the top. I was able, because this is reclaimed pallet wood, I was able to put these screws, actually there's regular drywall screws, one inch size. Um, I was able to just attach them right from the top. I could use, in some cases, the nail holes that were already in it. Um, and you know, you can see them, but it doesn't look bad. It kind of fits the overall rustic appeal. Some of those screws, I went up from the bottom and I just took a grinder and grind, ground down the fine points and they just kind of look like nail holes. Um, so <laughs> this PVC cement, I was never able to open it. I don't know what gorilla it takes to open that up or what He-Man, but I did not have the strength to open that and actually it hurt my hand trying to rip it open. What I did have on hand though was regular rubber cement and it, it glued these. I would have to break these to get them apart. So either if you can get this open and you have it, use that or rubber cement will work in a pinch and that's what I did. Um, so what else? I really am very happy with it. I went to the dollar store and found these little um, containers to organize. I don't know that I would, like I said in the beginning of the video, I don't know that I would suggest, not that you couldn't use this for anything heavier, but for what I have with this expanse here, this is about 41 and a half inches wide, these pieces here. I don't know that I would do anything like heavy cookware or heavy books or anything like that, but for what I'm gonna use it for, perfectly fine um, and I think that's it so if you could I hope you subscribe to my channel I've done a lot of different videos um, if you'll notice I'm wearing a dress that is made from a men's DeWalt extra extra large t-shirt I've actually done three videos where I kind of reworked them um, so there's all kind of different things on my channel I hope you subscribe I hope you like and comment and um, so anyway this one's a wrap it turned out great um, so as always I thank you and see you next time.